Spinning Wind and Water, Hurricane by Delina Johnson, illustrated by Renee Carrillo. Hurricane Susan. Belle gave her grandfather a hug. I'm glad mom has a little dog in my room. I love visiting you and grandma, he said. And I'm glad I got to call them all. I love Florida to her cousin, Dylan. Back home, fall means making leaves, but it's like summer here. October is still hurricane season, said Grandpa. In fact, I have been tracking a tropical storm on my laptop. Hurricane, said Dylan. I didn't come here to be blown away. Hurricanes are huge storms that form over the ocean water. They have spinning winds of at least 74 miles per hour. Hurricane season in the United States is June to November. Grandpa put his hand on Dylan's shoulder. It isn't a hurricane yet, he said. Come out to the garage and I'll explain. Weather isn't so scary once you understand it. Spinning clouds. Grandpa pointed at a map. The ocean is really warm near the equator. It's the air above the water. Wind forces the warm air currents together and up. The warm, wet air turns into storm clouds. I know what's next. Earth is always spinning like this ball. That makes the clouds start spinning too. Hurricanes are a kind of storm known as tropical cyclones. In other parts of the world, hurricanes are called typhoons, cyclones, or willy willies. You're right, Bill the weather girl, said Grandpa. Then what? Sometimes the clouds get bigger, Bill said. The spinning winds get faster. The tropical storm turns into a hurricane. Dylan looked worried. I guess we better get out of the town. Quick, said Dylan even though it looks way too nice out for a big storm. The eye is a calm area in the center of a hurricane. North of the equator, winds spin counterclockwise around the eye. South of the equator, winds spin clockwise. Hurricane ready. Grandpa tapped the map. The storm I'm watching is way out here. It's moving slowly. And it looks like you will miss Florida. It hasn't reached hurricane strength yet. Lots of storms never do. Meteorologists are watching it too, said Belle. Hurricanes take days to grow. We have time to get ready if we need to, said Dylan. On average, the United States is hit by about two hurricanes per year. But every hurricane season is different. I plan ahead for hurricanes, said Grandpa. I have some shutters to pull over the windows. I also have supplies for our emergency kit. Grandpa ruffled Dylan's hair. Sometimes we do leave town. Hurricane winds can push ocean water up on shore. That's called storm surge. We've been warned to head inland before that happened. Hurricanes often produce tornadoes. During a hurricane, it is safest to take shelter in a room without windows. Naming the storm. Belle pulled Dylan back to the map. Some hurricanes never hit land, she said. This line showed tracks of past hurricanes. See how many of them died before hitting land? Dylan look closer. Hey, I see hurricane with Grandma's Ines name. Am I on this map too? Hurricanes are some of the world's biggest storms. They can be 600 miles across. Hurricane Ines had wind speeds of 150 miles per hour when it hit land. Grandpa laughed. Sometimes I call you Hurricane Dylan. But your name isn't on the official hurricane name list. Each new tropical storm gets the next name on this year's list. 
I have a great idea, Dylan, said Belle. Why don't you pick a goofy name for the storm? Then it won't seem so scary. Tropical storms are given names. There are six lists of names for storms in the Atlantic Ocean. One list is used each year. When a storm is very bad, that name is in use again. A new name is added to the list. Okay, I got it, said Dylan. What do you think? Will Tropical Storm Sinky turn into Hurricane Sinky? Belle grinned. We don't know yet. Stay tuned for tomorrow, because every day is another weather day. Spinning Wind and Water Hurricanes by Belinda Jensen, USA by Renee Corilla.